Hello everyone, it's me, Bryce Garps. How are we all doing today? Uh, hope you're having a glorious uh, or a good Sunday. I uh, hope you're all staying, staying safe in these tough times. Uh, so today's video will be a bit different. Um, and I want y'all to put down in the comments whether you will want more of this stuff or not. But uh, today's subject will be um, about a man named Col Hold Collier. Now if you don't know who Mr. Collier is, he was a member of the 9th Texas Dismounted Calvary during the Civil War. And uh, in the Civil War, there's always been this myth that whether there were conf blacks who served in the Confederate Army or not. You know, you got one side saying there were, and there is factual proof there was, and others saying no. Well, <clears throat> today, I'd like to discuss Mr. Collier's story, um, his service in the 9th Texas in the Civil War, and how he actually became quite the interesting figure after the war. So, Mr. Collier's story starts in Jefferson, Jefferson County, Mississippi, in the year of 1846, where he was born. He was uh, the slave of one Mr. Howell Pins, who was his master. Um, <clears throat> so before the war, uh, when he was ten, when Collier was 10 years old, uh, his master trained him how to use a gun. And at the age of 10, he killed his very first uh, black bear. Uh, and he, it would be one of the, oh, I, I won't say that part because we'll save that for very, uh, at the end of the video. But when the war started, dur when the outbreak of the war began, uh, Collier uh, left Mississippi and went to Texas, specifically um, in Tarrant, uh, Tarrant County, Texas, where well, the ninth, some of the companies of the ninth was organized in. And in, uh, what's the word, uh. Bef when he left, uh, he asked his master if he could give him his freedom papers, which basically, if you don't know what that means, is that if you were a slave, you have to ask your master, master if you can have these papers which say, all right, you're free, you are no longer a slave, you're a free man, or free woman, or whatever. And his master, Hins, uh, gave him the for, uh, his, his, free, his freedom papers, and he was allowed to go to Texas. Well, uh, but, he was, but he was told that he was too young to fight. Because by the time that the Civil War started, he was about 15, 15, 14 years old. And at that point, you were not allowed to join the Confederate Army or the Union Army, unless you were a drummer boy. Well, and he was told to remain on the plantation. Well, Howell, or sorry, not Howell, Holt disobeyed and ran away from the plantation, uh, jumping on a riverboat and uh, joining... Uh, Howell and his son in Memphis because they left to join the Ar the Confederate Army. Uh, by choice, he joined the 9th Texas uh, Cavalry in Company I. Throughout the war, including during Reconstruction, actually, uh, Mr. Collier was 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 described by many of the men as some of the one of the best shots in the in the regiment and the brigade, and one of the bravest soldiers that they've ever seen before. There's a record stating. That at the battle um, of a of a term, there was a I can't remember the battle, but there was a battle in Missouri uh, where the ninth was engaged at, and when the ninth uh, attacked uh, this battery of federal troops or of this federal cannon, Collier grabbed the regimental colors and placed them on top of the battery, taking the guns, and he was claimed as a hero. Well, at some point during the war, uh, halfway. He was accused of murder. He was accused of murdering Captain uh, James King. Uh, and, of course, uh, he this was at Vicksburg, where the 9th was stationed at, after some engagements in uh, Tennessee and Missouri, including in uh, Oklahoma. Because they were, uh, after those battles and the campaigns, were sent to Vicksburg to help in the defense, protected from Grant and his Union troops. Uh, well, he was uh, acquitted from the supposed murder. Of, of Captain King and uh, after the war sorry if I keep looking uh, at something else uh, after that he left the state on advice by a friend of his named William A. Percy of Greenville, Texas and he went to Greenville to uh, work as a cowboy on the ranch of his former commander uh, Colonel Sullivan Ross one of the many uh, commanders of the 9th Texas <clears throat> Uh, who was be who would be the future governor of the state of Texas after the war? 
Uh, upon the murder of his former master, because after the war, uh, Mr. Hens was murdered. No one knows who murdered him or why he was murdered. Some people believe it was Collier, supposedly, but in truth, it was not Collier because he wasn't there at the time in Greenville or in the area. Uh, he spent there for the rest of his life, but in 1903, he became a nation national wide known uh, Confederate soldier because he befriended the f the president, uh, the president of the United States, Teddy Roosevelt. In fact, Roosevelt and Collier became the greatest of friends. Uh, they even supposedly fought with each other during the uh, Spanish-American War. Uh, and uh, Collier was assigned to, as uh, Teddy's uh, uh, main huntsman. And uh, this would, and there was a hunt that Collier participated in, and this would make him legendary. During his entire years of being with Teddy uh, Roosevelt, he would he would kill three thousand bears, and this would be one of the many reasons why he was called Teddy Roosevelt, the president. When Teddy refused, uh, of course, as we know, to shoot a captured uh, bear cub. Sadly, uh, Colt uh, Holt. Uh, passed away at the age of 90 in Greenville, Texas, and he was um, uh, buried in full Confederate military honors with and uh, with the rest of his comrades in the 9th of Texas, and uh, those who remained from the 9th who were still alive participated in his funeral. And he is he was buried he's buried at uh, Oak Cemetery in uh, at play, at the old Plum Ridge Plantation, where he grew up in uh, Mississippi. Now, um, if you if you want to see the, the picture of Mr. Collier, I have it right here. Let me see. Okay. okay. This is the picture of Mr. Collier. You can uh, see it clearly. But, uh, <clears throat> now if y'all have any questions of anything else about Mr. Collier, please uh, tell me in the comment section. I know this is a bit awkward because I keep on stuttering and uh, I keep looking at the screen, but I, lately it's just been very problematic with a lot of stuff. I mean, with this whole COVID-19 thing, all these riots and shit, I mean, I mean, there's nothing really besides, I got other crap ton of other stuff to do. I got a ton of videos to post out today. I know y'all don't want to hear all these issues, but I mean... Uh, if you liked what you what you've heard, if you want to know more about the Civil War or the Ninth Texas in particular, uh, just post it down in the comments. And if you're uh, interested in reenacting, uh, just uh, just ask me. I, I'll ha I'll be happy to ask your questions and all the other stuff. If you want if you want to join the Ninth, uh, we're we're accepting anyone of all religions and or whatever. We don't care who you are as long as you're respectful towards others, obviously. Um, yeah, the, but today I will post a few other videos. The next video, I know this is, this one's a few days late, four days late technically, is the Battle of the Crater in uh, Petersburg, Virginia. But, uh, I said if you want to hear, I said, put in the comments, ask if you want to uh, keep hearing this kind of stuff, this kind of informational videos and such. And heck, post in the comments if, uh, if there's something that I might not know. And uh, as I said, just like, if you want, if you like this stuff, like, subscribe, and hit the notification button and the bell to get more. And uh, I will see you guys the next video. See ya.